Hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to Siphon Addicts. Well, this week I'm talking about Lower Decks. We had a little bit of news come up in the last uh, week. We got a few new images from the show. We had a few more interviews with Mike McMahon, the executive producer of the show, talking a little bit more about uh, what we might expect in Lower Decks, which will be airing soon. We know from uh, some interview material I've spoken about in uh, a couple of my previous videos that they're already working on season two of the series. So it seems like this is season one must be uh, pretty close to finished, if not finished. So uh, hopefully we should be getting a trailer for this series pretty soon now. So let's get into this latest news on Lower Decks. So Mike McMahon was talking to the folks over at Entertainment Weekly and he said that uh, Next Generation is his favorite of all of the Star Trek series and that's the time period in which Lower Decks is going to be set, probably just a little bit after Star Trek Nemesis. He also said that he's such a fan of Next Generation, he wants to see some cameo appearances in his animated series by former Next Generation alumni. So Mike goes on to say, there are a lot of recognizable characters who could appear. I would definitely want to try to use some of them so that I could not only build out the world, but also work with some of my heroes. But I can't be more specific than that. You'll just have to wait and see. So that's a little bit of a nice uh, tease from Mike McMahon there about uh, Next Generation cameos appearing in, uh, in Lower Decks. I've got my money on uh, Riker. Considering uh, Jonathan Frakes has got his uh, fingers well and truly into the Star Trek pie in uh, not only a directorial sense, but also uh, obviously reprising his role as Will Riker in uh, Star Trek Picard recently. So I reckon there's a fairly good chance we might get to see an animated Riker perhaps. Perhaps on the Titan, uh, maybe, a, maybe there's a rendezvous between uh, him on the Titan and uh, and the crew of the Cerritos, I think the ship's called in Lower Decks. Perhaps uh, Patrick Stewart might even grace us with his presence as a voice talent for the show, considering we know he's done animated comedy before in the form of Family Guy. So creator Mike McMahon also made a few comments about the captain of the Cerritos, and he goes on to say that she's sort of trying to do this balancing act that all captains do, where they demand respect and are admired and trusted by the crew, but they also kind of have to be the bad guy. And the thing that we play a lot is that the lower deckers don't always get all the information they're delegated to, but they don't get to have a voice and they don't get to know the context a lot of the time. The big stories are happening in the bridge crew and there's more kind of social, emotional stories happening to the lower deckers. So it's like their job and the world they're in get affected by these sci-fi stories. But the funny thing too is that whatever menial job you have to do in Star Trek, it might be something they have to do every day, but it's still sort of a fascinating look into the stuff that happens on board and hasn't really been highlighted in other series. So instead of being on the turbo lift, our guys are repairing the turbo lift and it would seem we also spend a lot of time in the bar. There's a new image that uh, that uh, Entertainment Weekly released which shows our, uh, our lower deckers sharing a bit of a margarita uh, in, uh, in the bar environment on board the ship. Uh, it looks like most of them are about to drink their margaritas. One of the characters, I think it's Boimler, uh, he's either not drinking a margarita or he's already drunk his. That's not quite clear. I know he's a stickler for the rules, uh, reading a bit about this character in the past. So my guess is all the others are kind of having a margarita and he's just having an empty glass uh, because he doesn't like to imbibe on the job, perhaps. You'll get to see the lower deckers go on away missions and doing things that the bridge crew doesn't have to deal with. The other photo that we saw recently come out from Entertainment Weekly is a shot of our main cast all holding phases at the ready. They're all covered in black oil or black tar. It looks like they're in a fairly hostile situation where they've got all this mess on them. Maybe they've been having a shootout with the Baal, perhaps. We know that from uh, that episode of Discovery, kind of rising out of a black tar kind of type thing. So maybe they've been having a phaser fight with the Baal, or maybe they've shot a few of Armas's uh, progeny, uh, the guy who uh, killed Tasha Yar, perhaps. There's only a couple of uh, races there in Star Trek that have previously established themselves as being kind of black, oily, gooey kind of uh, races. And 
Amos and uh, the Baal are the only two I can think of, so maybe uh, maybe they're involved in this episode somehow, perhaps. There was an interview with uh, Gold Derby recently uh, where Jack Quaid, who does the voice of Boimler, he spoke about his character on the, uh, the show, that he doesn't know when the show is coming out, uh, but like everything else, the show is delayed by COVID-19, although it's still expected out this year. And the show is super funny, but it's still definitely Star Trek. Jack Quaid goes on to say, if you're a huge Star Trek nerd, you're going to get a lot of the references and a lot of the deep cut jokes. But I think even if you're new to it, I think it's something really cool to introduce you to the Star Trek universe as well. Me speaking personally, I didn't know a ton about it when I got cast. I had seen the J.J. Abrams movies, but now I'm into it. I'm watching Next Generation in quarantine because I realized I have to do my research on this and I'm loving it. I always considered myself a huge Star Wars fan and now Star Trek's coming up. Now they're about equal. It's a super funny show, it's a comedy, it's animated, but it's still definitely Star Trek, which is awesome. Another interview with Tawny Newsom, uh, who I recently saw on the Netflix series Space Force, which was quite funny. I, I, I just finished watching the first season of that show, and it's it's not so much a sci-fi show, it's, it's a comedy series, but she definitely uh, does a fairly good job on that series, so I think uh, she'll probably do a, a great job uh, as her uh, character on lower decks. So it's great to see that these guys are saying that this show is definitively Star Trek. I was kind of a little bit um, a little bit cautiously apprehensive, I suppose, um, when I heard about this uh, series, uh, thinking, oh, is it going to be too wacky? Is it going to be too screwball? Animated, uh, you know, fart jokes and animated sort of thing like Family Guy or um, Rick and Morty kind of thing. But it sounds like from uh, all of the interviews that uh, the various cast members and the EP, Mike McMahon have been uh, talking about that um, it's definitely going to be definitively Star Trek and it would seem like Mike McMahon is a great guy to uh, helm this show because he's clearly very passionate about Next Generation um, so I think it's going to be very interesting to see just how Star Trek this series is. We should be getting a trailer very soon. I mean, it seems like they're quite advanced in the animation process. Uh, Mike McMahon tweeted the other week that they're already uh, doing season two episodes now. So surely it can't be too far off uh, getting a trailer for this series. My prediction would be, I think there's an online Comic Con event uh, coming up in July, I think would be a, probably a good opportunity for a, a trailer. So I'm expecting that we shouldn't be more than a, a couple of weeks away for a trailer for this show, and hopefully we'll get to see them pretty soon because we've been uh, we've been sitting and waiting for a while for these these shows ever since Picard finished back in uh, March. Uh, we've been uh, hanging out for some sort of visual. Uh, um, tease about what we uh, might expect. So I'm guessing we probably have less than a month to go to see some visual uh, idea of, uh, of what this show Lower Decks might be like. What do you guys think about Lower Decks? Uh, are you going to watch it? Uh, are you uh, excited about it, even though it's an animated series. Uh, look, oh, I'm I'm excited about it. I, I I'm a big fan of a few animated series like Family Guy and you know Rick and Morty and so forth. So I think uh, providing the show doesn't, to use an expression, take the piss out of Star Trek too much, and it's still grounded in what Star Trek is, it can have that humour in it, providing it doesn't kind of stray so far outside of what Star Trek is that it ceases to be Star Trek. So I'm hoping that uh, Mike McMahon is a, is a good showrunner and will keep it, uh, keep it real within the Star Trek universe. Uh, and yeah, I can't wait to uh, see more information about it. What do you guys think? Leave a comment in the comment section. I've got some new merch this week, so check out. I've got a couple of new t-shirt designs in the merch store. Be sure to check them out. There are a couple of cool ones there. I've done a new design with uh, the various enterprises, A through E, and also a new one with uh, the enemy ships of Star Trek, plus all my other Star Trek and sci-fi TV related merchandise as well. I'm having a 15% off sale uh, until the end of June to celebrate hitting the 10,000 subscriber mark on my channel. So be sure to take advantage of the sale while it's on. Yeah, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. And I'll see you guys next time.